Well, good morning. It's travel day. It's travel day. It's gonna be a long travel day. You ready to go to Vienna? So ready. on the first leg of this trip. Only have three or four more to go. Apparently they are doing some construction on the rail line from here to Vienna. So at this next stop, we have to get off and get on some kind of, I don't know, replacement train buses that'll take us to the next station. Then we get back on another train and then finally into Vienna. So, <laughs> never a dull day on travel days. Placement bus signs. Okay, so we have to wait on the next bus because we have this big dog, so that one was pretty full. So they have this pretty well organized though, and they've been really so sweet and helpful with all the signs and personnel. So we'll get there. final train into Vienna. It's been a long afternoon already. If you've been following along, we'll be sweating. <laughs> oh, yeah, all this gear, this many transfers, this stuff. Middle summer. If only we could fit in just backpacks. It's not possible. <laughs> High maintenance. Lifers. Come on. Come on. Oh. Okay. Let me get him. Okay. already been in one Uber and had to get out because <laughs> we didn't fit in there. So we're going to try to get another one. Everything didn't quite fit in that car, Alls. Maybe the next one? What do you think? Crazy here? So lucky number six. Six, eight. Who's counting? <laughs> they keep dumping us. They find all our bags and big alls and like, yeah, no, it's Is not it the fit. bags? Is it the I dog? Do we not fit? We haven't had this problem since Brashoff. <laughs> and bonus, Ollie's got the shots and really stinky gas, so it's been a fun travel day. Don't sit on, there you go, okay. <laughs> hey, don't tell on me, Mom. Cheers, honey. Here's to another expensive month in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> We're Rory and April. We are the Great Escapers. Hello there. We're back. It's been a little while, but we had a great time in Vienna and we really enjoyed the entire month we were there. We did. So this was our second to last destination on this first 14 month leg of our journey traveling full time. And like Rory said, we did a whole month in Vienna and it was absolutely stunning. So we know we veered from our weekly YouTube videos. We decided to just take in our month in Vienna and enjoy it. It was all lit up for the holidays. It was beautiful. So we didn't really want the distraction of having to film and narrate and all of those things. So we're gonna do our best to recap our visit there in Vienna and show you some of our favorite things. Favorite things about Vienna. There's some chocolate that I found. What is it called? It's the little balls with cream in the middle. It's amazing. And I like the Christmas markets with the glute vine. 
Yes, we were really lucky that the second week of November that we were there, they lit up the whole city for Christmas and opened the market. So that was a fun surprise. It was awesome. And then my third thing would be transportation. Oh, yes. So transportation. So we, if you watched our Budapest videos, we had a little, little fadaddle there. But here in Vienna, yes, it was more expensive. It was like 50 euros a person for a monthly pass. But that got you on the U line. Everything. All the trams, it was amazing, uh, and it was like completely no fail transportation that got us all over the city, and it was like spot on time, mm-hmm. except for that one day when there was a uh, big protest protests. in town and um, kind of messed up the transit for the night. But other than that, Vienna's got it down with the transportation. The rest of Europe should take uh, notice. There's these cool things on the transportation where if you don't have a ticket, you can buy it while you're on. Yes, buy it and validate it while you're on the train. So Budapest, if you're listening, this is a thing. (laughs) So I think my favorite thing was definitely the Austrian National Library. It was stunning. I wouldn't have even known it was there except I had seen it on another YouTube channel and it was definitely something you shouldn't miss. Right. And the Christmas markets, of course. We drank enough glute wine for an <sighs> army, but it was worth it. And we brought home how many mugs, baby, in our suitcases? Six? Well, five seven. from Vienna and then one and from And one from Germany. Germany. Yes, yeah. that's right. We brought them home. Yes, we did. And we don't usually do souvenirs because we travel full time. So we're pretty happy to have those little treats from Vienna. Cheers! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> One of my most favorite things was our Airbnb. This girl that hosted our Airbnb, she had everything you could possibly need. It was right on the 46 line, so it was super easy to get anywhere in the city. It was definitely over budget, but I think that's Vienna in general. It's just expensive, but it was so nice and cozy and felt like home from the second we walked in. The pictures definitely did not do it justice. It looked really small in the pictures but when we walked in the yeah, kitchen was, was huge it was gorgeous and it was right near um how do you say it new bow no bow neighborhood <laughs> no how you say it. i'm like probably butchering I it. Speak English. But it was a really cool neighborhood it reminded us a little bit of austin where we used to live really a cool villagey type neighborhood so i'll put the link in there if you're looking for somewhere more affordable i think to stay in vienna than any other place we found for the space and the location so we knew leaving Hungary that once we got to Vienna, things were going to be, or we were told, it was going to be so much more expensive and we weren't sure how we we're going to afford to live there for a month. I would say a majority of the restaurants we went to, they were overpriced because of where we were at, maybe in the square. We did find a couple on the outskirts that had some traditional Vienna food that was delicious. Um, and then there was the Hoffer. So the Hoffer is the original version of the U.S. Aldi grocery store. And the groceries there were the cheapest I think we had seen since, what, Albania? Probably, yeah. Which sure. I couldn't really say had great groceries. No. So we really enjoyed that. So yeah. if you're thinking Vienna is too expensive, yes, the places to stay are kind of higher. But if you really look off the beaten path, the groceries and restaurants, you can find places that you can afford. Very reasonable. And the food was so good. We went to the Nashmarkt. I guess that's the main central like market that lines this whole street. Um, and the food there is very expensive. So maybe avoid eating in that market, but it's definitely something to see. Yes. Since we decided to just enjoy this month and take pictures and videos as we went, I have to say that my neck is just now healing from turning every corner in this city. I felt like I saw a palace or a beautiful piece of architecture no matter which way I turned or looked up or down or sideways. Yeah, it was like being in Florence, just an open air museum, really. The whole city is absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. If the Austrian-Hungarian Empire did anything, they built amazing buildings. So we really enjoyed that um, about Vienna. Now, I will say that the expense of going into every place from the churches to the museums, really any kind of entertainment was so high. I mean, some of the museums were like 30, 40 bucks a person. person. So that was kind of tough. We really only did a couple. We did the Albertina, Mm -hmm. we did the Natural History Museum, um, and another one that's in our video that we'll show you. So I do have to say that my favorite part of Vienna is that my girl, my daughter, who's 25, 
decided to come and visit us for her Thanksgiving break in school to Vienna. So it was so fun to have her there. I was just so happy to have my girl there. And we did the Christmas markets together and a couple of the palaces. And this was her first time to Europe. So wow, to be stunned by Vienna, your first time in Europe. I mean, she was like this, right? The whole time we were there. It was so much fun having her there. So that was a fun part of our trip to Vienna. Yeah, definitely exciting for someone to actually come and see us after almost 13 months of traveling. Yeah. So our month in Vienna was amazing. Can't believe it's already over. But we have one more destination to go explore in Regensburg, Germany. And that'll wrap up our 14 months of adventure. Yeah, so stay tuned for the next video while we explore Regensburg, Germany. Till then, enjoy the next few minutes of some of our favorite places in Vienna, and we'll see you next week in Germany. Cheers. Are you not happy about being in a new house? It's okay. <laughs>
Okay. Nothing sexier than a man using a Dyson vacuum. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Bringing sexy back. Oh my gosh. Have you, have you seen this? <laughs> Are we talking about the inspection plate? What? It has a name? Of course, you've never heard of that? I've never seen anything like this in my life. Inspection shelf? It's a real thing. It like sits in a plate before it, you flush it so that what, you can look at it. I don't want to look at it. These are weird things that we see in Europe.